Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is Strawman Gaming. I am Strawman. Today we are joined by a very special guest. It is Mrs. Strawman Gaming. Say hello. Hello, everybody. And of course, being my greatest fan, watching everything I do. What are we? Uh, what are we doing today? Uh, building rockets. Why? To get that man whose name I don't remember back home. Elon Musk. Yes. Elon, Elon Musk. That is that is the uh, overarching goal, certainly. But um, how do I? Go to this. Yes. So the true goal is this: bringing these boys home. TG's, TG, Elvi, and Nimandu. Is that Nim their homes? What? No. This is they're like floating through space. Can't zoom in next. It's just tracking station. So he's been he's been floating for over a year in space. Um, if you watched the last video, you noticed I had trouble uh, bringing my orbit to intersect with these people. And I think a problem with that is the track... Right click on the tracking station. Is that the tracking station can't track them properly. So, did I already upgrade this? No, I just can't afford it. So this says unknown object tracking without upgrade. So I think that means we'll be able to uh, calculate intersects better. An intersect would be what? So, um, or like, because the problem we had in the last mission was, uh, this looks kind of weird. Oh, they're, okay. So I came up into orbit with these things, and I was at the same level, going at the same speed around the planet, but because of how orbits work, I could never catch up with them, and they mm -hmm. would never catch up with me. So today, we're going to try what we tried last episode, but we're going to try it better. We're gonna come up into a higher orbit, like maybe, what are they at, like 80,000 something, 83. So we come up to like maybe like 100,000 meters and then try and like drop down on them. Okay. So do you always have to start your rocket from scratch? No, I'm gonna load it. This is our orbital rescue craft. Um, what did I want to change? We ran out of fuel in the last episode. I should just point out that my wife just uh, <laughs> moved my hand away from my mouth because she felt it was negatively affecting the sound. Um, Making you mumble. Well, it's it's fine. So, because uh, we want more fuel in this stage up here. But the more fuel we put here, the more fuel we need to put here, so the overall rocket just gets bigger and bigger. If this is gimbling, do we... Do we need these? Because these are... Maybe we just stick on some extra thrusters. Like, um... I feel like you've invited the least helpful person to... Well, no, it, it, to me it's good, because you don't know what you're seeing. So if you're like, uh, why are you doing this? And if I can explain it to you, and you're like, oh, that seems like a smart idea, then it probably is a smart idea. Okay, with that in mind, why do you need more fuel in that second place point to do, if you put it in the first place point to do? Because if I put more fuel here the other thing overall is heavier. And anything you put up here, this has to lift, but to lift more mass. If you make this heavier, this will accelerate more slowly. And getting off the planet isn't about getting high, it's about getting fast. So, what if, actually, what if I just made this fuel tank one of these big ones? Is that what that is, yeah? Because I don't, you're not particularly up to date, but that looks quite like the SpaceX rocket, like the Falcon 9. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing before you said it. It's kind of for me. Um, yeah, so maybe. Maybe I'll put boosters on it as well, just for. Oh, I've got the hilarious, overly massive boosters. The booster's the thing that you let go after it takes uh, well, off. Well, yeah, these bits are going to fall off as well. These are mm -hmm. solid rocket boosters, so these are just kind of like um, kind of like a big firework, but like a little bit more complicated. These are liquid fuel tanks. These are liquid engines. Do they all gimbal? Or do none of them gimbal? None of them gimbal, because I've got these. Um... I feel like these little Kerbal guys on the floor here aren't really pulling their weight. Well, no, they're just kind of 
well, this guy's got a yellow helmet. He's like a foreman, and they're just like probably dealing with safety issues. So, hang on. Because um, you might notice this doesn't really look like a rocket now. It looks like a mess. So, if I can... I want to put these kind of... Because I know some in the parts don't have collision. Like, I don't think these little engines have collision. What does that uh, like, I don't think it matters if I just stick a rocket on top of it like that. I, I think that's okay. Oh, are we at parts limit? N no. Because we upgraded. I, I did a lot more than I thought I did previously, so I'm looking for nose cones, because we all know. Vitally important. So now, staging. And I'm sure you've been paying attention to my other videos, Michelle. Mm -hmm. can move that. I want these on this middle one, because we've got this staging here that drains the fuel from these into the middle ones. So when this leaves, when these fall off and these fall off, this has still got a full tank of fuel. So I'm that to light and then stay. We want these to stage before them. Okay, so all and we want all the rockets to light at once. These rockets are ridiculous things. Like these So much. I'm not going to reduce the thrust on them. I'll just use less liquid fuel in the lower atmosphere. So one, two, three, four, five, six. However many engines are, they all light, and then they fall off. They fall off, and we're down to just the central one. And the rocket's still going. That decouples. That lights. That decouples, and the parachute. Do you set the time for when the rockets will fall off? Uh, I press spacebar yeah. to a stage. I'm worried I won't have enough control authority because these, all our uh, liquid fuel engines have the same amount of. Um, I can only set the thrust like it's one amount. They can they could all be at ten percent or all at hundred percent. So I'm worried these are just not going to have. Fins. Have we got um, controllable fins? I take it you lose money and resources if you try it and it fails? Uh, you can if you're doing it the proper way. I can just revert flight though, because I would have been bankrupt and out of the business long and long ago. <laughs> Get, right, here's the problem. Fins will keep it straighter, but they also fight against the gimbling on these little engines. Uh, there's no risk, really, <laughs> as you just asked. So let's uh, let's test it. Okay. Okay, I think I should have responsibility for hitting spacebar. Well, okay. We you can tell me when. We haven't set the fuel. Oh, that's maximum. So I want a decent amount of control. Let's go set that to half and see where we are at the minute. Um, SAS on. These give us so much thrust, I'm not really that worried about efficiency at the minute. So let's lock. Oh, we can't lock to prograde when we're on the launch pad. Okay, so we're going to go up and we're trying to get into a. Um, I can never remember what this one's called. Vertically, it's called a polar orbit. This one's called, like, I guess, equatorial orbit, like a perfectly circular orbit, along with these guys at about 100 to 150,000 meters. So we're going to take off and we're going to wait for all. About 2,000 meters, and then we're gonna lean over gradually towards the east. Because then the planet is turning from east to west, so it kind of moves beneath us and it kind of gives us a little boost, I think. Okay. <sighs> Press space when you're ready. Yeah, set it off. Yep. Well, I've done everything correctly. Okay, we're accelerating fairly quickly. But I think. Yeah, we're going straight, so we've got enough control. Solid fuel's going down by the same speed as liquid fuel. Let's try and rein that in a bit. Reducing our control authority, of course, but... So, for once, I'm going to do extremely gentle taps towards the east. Okay, we're going supersonic. That's okay. We are turning slightly. Is that what you want to be doing? No, we kind of just want to lean over, but you can see we're no, we're no longer mm. aligned quite right. We'll get more control once these uh, solid rocket boosters fall off, or are uh, pushed off. We've already got an apoapsis of, yeah, 50 
plus thousand meters. So, okay, we're going way too fast in the in the atmosphere. <laughs> What's the mirror to the top of the screen? That's our altitude. Oh. Please fall off rocket boosters. Okay, go over there. And now we're just gonna. Uh, I've lost which way ninety is. Ninety is this way. Yeah. Okay. So. That was inefficient, but those rockets are just kind of like a joke, so it's fine. Like, they're, they're too powerful. I don't really know how to master them, so you always go too quickly. Yeah. He's, um, I, I spoke about this before. He's got a thing called Badass, which I think means he doesn't get afraid. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what afraid does. Okay. So we're going along. 90. So I don't think this is too much of a disaster of a launch, although I haven't admittedly checked my apoapsis. So they're empty, so I can drop them off. Yes, we're still at full fuel. Drop this right. Let's just cut it, actually. How high are we? Way! Well, that's pretty high. <laughs> but it might be okay. So um, we're a little bit off. So let's add a, a node, the maneuver node here, and we want to go... Uh, I should use the problem this way, slightly. We'll move it until it gets us in line. Her apoapsis, roughly. That's probably about right. How does this work? So this is me setting a maneuver node, which is I want to oh, turn sorry turn SAS off. Uh, wait. Oh, because I've got no thrust. There we go. Uh, it's me telling the like, a, like the onboard computer, like where I want to be going, um, and it shows me how to what I need to do to get there. Okay, this is going a bit squiff now. I'm gonna cut the engine again and see where we're at. So we're still. Of course, but controls are so confused. Oh, it's my character switching to orbit mode. Um, SAS back on, please. Oh, I've got no thrust because I uh, the there is reaction wheels in the nose that can give me some control. Do, do you know what? I'm just gonna ab abandon this. Um, yeah. By some fate of luck, I seem to have done something. Well, actually, because it's just, yeah, just burn a little bit. Burn a little bit. There we go. Yeah. By a little bit, I meant, <laughs> I pressed Z, and I meant to press Shift. Uh, so let's go to the opposite of this. I feel like you'd have to have some understanding of space <laughs> craft launching to play this game. I mean, not really. I mean, you can ask questions, and I can explain, but I've, I've watched a few people play it, and um, they kind of do a good job. I say yes, please do your job better. I mean, I'm way too high, obviously. So now we're going to add another maneuver to here. And we're going to, from here, we want to accelerate along our prograde, which is the direction we're traveling. And we want to make this orbit circular. And since it's massive. Uh oh, I lost it. Where is it? About there. And then we can see how far off axis we are. So, yeah, we're, we're meant to be perfectly over the top of this white line, but we're like we're below it here and above it here. But if there's points that are in line with the white line, can you not just drop it down there? Well, I'll wait till I get to one of those points. Yeah. I think they're called a rising or setting node. And, um, wait, wait, wait. This one's very close to, oh, they're very close to us, but like 100,000 meters lower than us. Um, when we get to one of those nodes, we'll do an adjustment burn to bring us into line with it. Okay. I also meant to change the... Okay, I've got very little... Okay. 
Did you change it up? I meant to... Because at the minute, um, I've been... So it says time until node, like, it says 30 seconds, and burn time is a minute. I would say, well, that's a total example. So it says burn time is 10 seconds, and I'm a minute out. I'll normally start at 5 seconds before and finish 5 seconds after. So at the peak, like in the middle of the maneuver is when I hit the maneuver node. Mm. Um, but I'm not entirely convinced that's the right thing to do. See, we're so far past. This is going to be a disaster of a, an orbit. What point do you give up and you start again? Oh, uh, I, I, now. <laughs> Virtual vehicle assembly. Okay, so first things first, let's limit the thrust on these to about, what do you think, 77.5? Sure. It's going to see 75, but for no other mm. reason than it seems like a nice number. Because it's a significant drop. Yeah. There we go. So we've got enough control. Let's do it again. So the reason I've stopped this is because there was just there's many problems with that launch. We went too fast. We went too high. I then we set my node way too late. So let's try again. Uh, thrust up to about there, and we should take off more slowly. Go. I have one job. Well, just pushing the space bar to launch. I, I have one job, which is pressing SAS. Yes, I didn't do it, so. <laughs> Both got problems. It happens when you're being a busybody in my department. I don't understand solid fuel because I th well maybe my engines are higher because the, the solid fuel is going down at the same speed as the well the liquid fuel that's staging into the, the main set, uh, the main stage. Okay, very very gingerly. I'm trying to get more I'm trying to get more horizontal than I did last time. Which, which takes me through. I don't see. This is the prograde circle. Yeah. I don't like going too far outside if I'm still in the atmosphere because the thing will just flip around and destroy me. Start to find me. Come back. More thrust. Maximum thrust. Which is, is kind of confusing. It's like kind of. It's not, but it kind of reminds me of driving a hovercraft in that you have to give yourself thrust to give yourself control. Still, but we used more fuel from the liquid engines than we did from the solid engines. You know you're too fast Yeah, you don't want to be because I'm that's basically punching my way through the atmosphere yeah. to try and exit the planet, which just isn't. It's just not really what you want to be doing. Okay, so they've. Are we? Are we okay? What happened? Why did we explode? Something's gone horribly wrong, I don't really know... Oh, ugh. Okay, that's become detached. That, so, okay, so we have no control over our <laughs> engines anymore. Oh, sorry, Jebediah, man. Well, he'll be fine, he's still got... Don't worry, we'll launch a rescue mission to come back for you. How high? <laughs> We're very reliable. My word, still too high. These rockets are a joke, man. Revert to... Vehicle... Um... Are the rockets a problem or am I the problem? I mean... These are too big. I... I... I you... Oops. Sorry. That's a problem with borderless windowed. Um... I just use the little thumpers. These are much more manageable. They just give us a bit more thrust in the lower atmosphere. Very little delta V, but a good amount of thrust. You keeping up with all this? Are you <sighs> just... Uh... Just there. Uh, I don't know, I was trying to think of something smart to say that made me sound clever on YouTube and it didn't work, so what have I fired? Oh, this is YouTube, no one sounds clever. Mm. Yeah. And I just crashed a rocket, like. My rocket just exploded itself, so I'm not feeling too smart either. Okay, so I'll have these at maximum thrust. Okay. So I'll do my job. Right, it all starts with a good launch. That's where we went wrong last time. I must be on spacebar duty. Zoom in, right? This look, yeah, this looks much more reasonable. This looks more like the uh, Soyuz, the rockets with the four. Yes. 
So thrust max, then reduce. Let's try using less because we're going way, way too fast. So let's try about there. Boy, oh, 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 oh. Got smaller thrusters now, though, right? So yeah, but I still we're still going way higher than we need to, which means we're going way faster than we need to. So they stage, then, then. <gasps> Jebediah, my man, making back. Yeah, it's it's kind of um we've got kind of witch powers over time. Yes, let's okay. So if you want to press space, we haven't done a proper countdown yet. Maybe that's part of the problem. Five. Okay. Four, 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 four. This four, is happening. Three, 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 two, one, and we have lift off. I could have done the echo in post, but that's fine. It's more authentic this way. So, you don't know yet, Mr. Strawman does not like acting, so he's cringing away here in the corner. Uh, not much of a performer. See, look, there's solid fuel boosters that are just running out like in no time. No, that's fine, I'll twinkle the one out, and I'll eject them, and then we'll start a gravity turn. Even if it is too high. This, this is why I wanted someone to be here, because there's a lot of time spent just like watching the rocket go completely vertically. And to it, the good launches. It's the ones where they go completely sideways, though. Let's be asleep. You see, we're veering off the wrong way. Let's get the throttle. Is that even on control? Why are you doing this to me, rockets? This is what, like, this is. <laughs> Why is it blowing everything? I don't apart know. From each other? Because I think the rockets are colliding with the ship. How do I zoom in? Middle button. Is that because you stuck them to those bits you weren't sure if you could stick them to? Those I mean, things or whatever you call them. I mean, very possibly. Should we do it this way? Yeah. Give me two of these. It's starting to look a bit ridiculous now. To the point that I actually want to... Where's the structural? Struts? One, two. I hate it when it does that. <laughs> Get rid of it. So, strut. Yes, there we go. I think it's oh, if they've got like line of sight, they'll work. Strut, strut. And on this side, because it's in um, rotational symmetry mode. Strut. I don't believe struts are physics enabled. Well, in the, I don't believe they're aerodynamic physics enabled, so I don't think the fact that these are asymmetric um, will matter. But in any case, we'll soon find out. Uh, SAS thrust to arbitrary seventy-five percent mark. Do a countdown if you want. <laughs> no, it's uh, it was alright. One was enough for the whole episode, I think. Do you press the button? Okay, off we go. <laughs> Where's our whiskey agenda? Oh, that's because I haven't done the staging. Let's revert flight to launch. <laughs> this is, you know, the rocketry takes a, it takes a long time. <laughs> you know, that's why like Mars is like tw like twenty thirty is when we want to go like to well. That is a more ambitious and lofty dream than mine, I will admit, but <laughs> that one, that one, that one, yes, 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 love it, love all, everything about it, SES, thrust, a little bit less thrust, a little bit more, there we go, and I'm good to go, I'm going for a space, 532, we're on go, yes, we actually are. Viewers at home will have a sound, so they'll hear the mighty rockets like boosting into the sky, into the inky blackness, but we can't hear anything because my headphones don't work on two people. Did you hear epic lights explode as well? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Which is sad. This, like, this shouldn't work, but if you look at some of the, like, the guy I've talked about before, Scott Manley on YouTube, he does, like, fastest time to the moon and he just makes a rocket that's like a giant cross like a big plus sign um yes go just looks at lighting barely yes here we go and it looks ridiculous but it gets to the moon and back within an hour whereas yeah so i guess i should worry less about trying to make it look like a rocket
something sticking out from every hit. Oh, we've got season. Oh, yeah, I don't even saw that. I don't know YouTube confessional lights here. There's a little bit of um, gravitational effect there, but not gravitational, <laughs> atmospheric effect there. So, cut the engine. It looks all right. 110 meters, 10, 10,000 meters. We're a little bit. It's this fine tuning that kills me, man. So I reckon we circularize first, and then we try and adjust to be in the right inclination. That's probably it's probably not the most efficient, but is by far the uh, easier maneuver. I will take your word for it. Well, I, 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 I don't I don't know which one of these things to pull to make us go in line. Hang on. So this is my periapsis, and this is my apoapsis, which is my highest point from the planet and my lowest point to the planet. And when they switch places is when you should uh, about um, circular. So that's way too high, and that's way too low. Mm -hmm. hmm. 14, 16. What is going on here? I think you just crashed into the planet. Uh, I haven't done this yet. So... Maybe it's because we're off axis slightly. 90, 100, that'll do. I don't care. Rocketry's not about precision, everybody knows that. Turn. She's too fat. I've got these two little tiny engines and the little reaction wheel steering this gigantic cigar of a thing. So when I get to this node, I'm just gonna punch it. But I'm gonna Okay, so yes, dead. I've got a bit of a wobble going on. I'm confused because I only pulled the uh pro oh, it's because I've I've gone a lot earlier. Well it's because yeah, that prograde should come into line for me. It's so wobbly. I really want to get rid of this last stage. I could stage now, but I, I don't want to just leave fuel. Like, I don't want to... I've, I've carried this this far, I might as well use it. Um, so I've got another 850 meters per second to accelerate. Um, yeah, so we are past the node, but we... The, we that has been my technique, is to start early and finish. Oh, we've run out. Okay, cool. Keep burning. Oh, I haven't lit the engine. There we go. So this is a much, much smaller engine. So my burn time is massively longer. So my orbit will be even less circular. But that's okay. We can recircularize at apoapsis, I think. Yeah, I've got. Yeah, we've got loads of fuel because we upgraded this to a massive fuel tank. This is just to get into orbit. This isn't even starting to think about rescuing these people. Who, let's note, I don't know how to do even if I do get close okay, to them. Yeah, well, I was just about to ask you that, so that answers that question. Doggo has heard something in its head. The dog pulls her up. The dog's decided we're being invaded. Are you going to let him outside? No. Why, why did the camera shift? That, uh, for the sake of 30 meters per second, I don't care. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I, I stopped you. Maybe this is good. Maybe, like, I'll swing down and, like, swoop in and rescue these guys. But we're in orbit, so... I think that's very optimistic. Yeah, but, like... I'm just behind this guy, right? But I'm on a bigger or higher orbit, so I'm going a lot faster than him. So his speed is 227. No, 2,279 meters per second. Mine is mine, mine is less than that. Right, I'm confused. So I, I'm, let's let's stick with the program, right? Let's go to our apoapsis. Roughly, add a manoeuvre. And we want to circularize from here. So just about 
about that. So, could you stop with that chair? <laughs> yeah, sorry, my chair keeps clinking. So that's 160. Yeah, that's pretty circular. And uh, how are we for suns in my eyes? You with all the problems you think you could have. Okay, so we're too high. So we, so we'll get into this circular thing, and then probably about here, at the rising node, we'll bring ourselves into a, a flat, the same plane as them. Okay. Yeah, burn time four seconds. The, when you were, uh oh. Uh, so this is a maneuver. How far? Like, can I see this guy? Because he should be. He's, he's actually, you know, he's, I was going to say, we should be able to see him. He's quite close, but he's like the entire width of whatever <laughs> country this is. I don't know, maybe that looks. Cause that kind of looks like Africa. Is it the actual map? Or is it just no, no. I, I think I'd recognise the actual That's planet. That's what I was going to say because. Because <laughs> that looks a little bit like Africa, so like maybe this is meant to be like, I guess India, but it looks more like uh, Korea, the Korean Peninsula. But there's like no Japan or anything. Uh, so we need a little bit of thrust to. Oh no, maybe I don't anymore because I've got reaction wheels. Um, so maybe I can. Yeah, yeah. I don't need thrust anymore. We have much more precise control now. Bring myself onto the maneuver node. Do you understand what's happening? Uh, what <laughs> answer do you want? The truth or the one that will make you happy? Well, if, if you're like an analogue for my, uh, my audience. Well, uh, something tells me you'll have different people to me watching this type of video. <laughs> Well, I know there's at least one viewer that won't know what you're talking about. What I'm talking about, but it's still here. Is that me by any no, chance? No, no, as we've established, you didn't really watch the stuff. <laughs> so... It's... No, I quite frankly don't have a clue what's going on, to be honest. So, we're, this blue orbit is our present orbit. We're orbiting the planet. Okay, are, are, we, I, are we agreed? Okay. Right? I got that much. I got that far. And we're currently... Um, not orbiting in a perfect circle, on, but in an ellipse, so we have what's called eccentricity on the orbit. <sighs> Our dog. Get the dog. This is just never work with children or animals. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, I think we're pretty good. Hey, Duggo, would you like to say hello to the YouTube viewers? <laughs> Duggo, here. Uh, speak. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> okay. Ben has never worked under such conditions before. I'm trying to save lives here. So, we might as well go to the... So now we've circularized while uh, the dog was out protecting us from all sorts of villains. I think it was fireworks, to be fair. Yeah. This is recorded on the uh, 1st of January in Scotland, so everyone is a little bit gung-ho with their firework usage here. Let's just tease that up. Teasing it. Just, just, just. That looks alright. Uh, it looks less and less alright the further around I get. Uh, maybe it doesn't. Hang on, let's... Let's turn my mouse sensitivity right down. And have a look. I'm going to call that successful. So let's warp to... Some point along our... White... What? Where's our actual... Right, let's go to this one. Okay. Where are we? We are... Oh, the green line, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is us. So we're going to come to here. And this is us bringing our orbit into the same plane as the people we're trying to save. Okay. So we're just... It's like like concentric circles. Like they're one hula hoop and we're a slightly bigger hula hoop. Exactly around them. No, I get... I understood that. I just don't understand how you're getting it to do those things. Okay. 
So, ooh, I'm trying to remember, I can't remember what this node is called. Uh, oh. Wait. I keep messing up the timing. Oh, wait, what button I should press? Mm. So is it, is it the manoeuvre nodes that are confusing you, do you think? Yes. So they are basically a way... They're, they're not cheating, because they're kind of part of the game. But you just... So I'll make one here that we're not going to do anything with. So get lost. So what this means is, these are the three directions. So this is my prograde. So if I pull this forwards, that essentially gives me velocity going along the direction I'm traveling. So forwards. Okay. Like in a car, that's like your accelerator. This is like your brake. This one boosts radially, so it'll give me, if I only pull that one, it'll make me point away from the center of the thing I'm orbiting and boost outwards. This is anti-radial, and this will make me boost inwards. Mm. This one, I can't remember the name of, um, but it's like, oh, is, is it normal and anti-normal? Anyway, so this one will make me point, like that one will make me point upwards and that will make me point downwards. And you can pull on these, yep, okay, we've passed it. I can have them over here. Um, you can pull these in various combinations. So if I want to, if I want to like make my orbit a little bit higher, but also I want to like incline it a bit that way and bring it out a little bit, this will add those three maneuvers together. And does that take effect once you move into that space? No, it creates this thing here, which is called a maneuver node, which shows me where to point my ship, so that when I accelerate in that direction, it will. Um, Okay, so it doesn't happen automatically when you do no. these things. Yeah, yeah. So you're moving it with your, your keyboard. Yes, W, S, and D. To get them to line up with the symbol. Yeah, the maneuver node. Which, now, see, now we've brought us into like a nice circular orbit. Yeah. Fairly nice. So now we have the problem of, right, let's lock to prograde, because I understand that. It's, that face forwards is what that means. So we have the problem. They are orbiting at 80,000 meters, orbiting at 154. So, even at our closest pass, we're 70,000 meters away from them, 70 kilometers. Mm. So, my understanding, and it's hard because if we were just stationary, if it was just like, right, slow yourself down and bring yourself to collide with that one, that would be okay, but as we move, it's going to move as well. And it's going 22, we're going... Why is it going faster? Do I just completely not understand how orbits work? Do you want an answer to that question? But we have to be going faster. I don't understand. <laughs> Why do you think we have to be going faster? Because... Because we're higher than them. Wait, let me let me do some thinking. Yeah, because it takes more thrust to get us this late. It takes more thrust to get this far out, but that doesn't mean you're going faster when you're traveling around. Yeah, but yeah, okay. So, oh, maybe maybe that's. No, because if I want to go to a higher orbit from here, I would have to accelerate along my prograde. Do you know what? Can we just create a save point? Just to save game. Um, confusion. <laughs> so this is my prograde. This is me pointing directly forwards. If I go full engines, my orbit gets higher. Okay. So I'm going faster, so I'm going to get high up. If I cut that, and then warp to here. And then continue to lock Bograde, which Jeb will do by himself. Go I'm in. I'm and then accelerate again to circularize to this new altitude. Which will happen. I'll just do this by eye when the periapsis starts to move. There we go. 
So we've accelerated forwards in the direction that we're orbiting. But we're going even slower than before. I... I don't understand. I don't know how that can happen. <laughs> don't look at me. I'm just a space bar girl. But... But we sped up! You saw me speed up! Didn't we? Right, prograde. Do, do you maintain that speed or do you just use that speed until you get further out in orbit? Well, there's nothing to slow you down because it's space. So you're, you know... Yeah, but you, you're turning, are you turning like your um, thrust off or something? Yeah, but you keep going at a constant speed unless the force acts upon you. Mm. One of Newton's three laws, I think it's probably the first. A uh, body will remain at rest or in motion unless acted on by an unbalanced force. And there's no force to slow us down. But again, let's accelerate. That number goes up. So how is it lower than it was earlier? Maybe it happens when we circle. I don't know. We might have to end the episode with this. <laughs> with, 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 with this, with yeah, because right, get get rid. Warp to there. So I, I recognise I'll slow down as I get further away from the planet because maybe that's but maybe this is like the opposite of a gravity assist. So because I'm approaching my apparatus, I am going slow because I spoke about before that. In orbit, it's any whatever area of the orbit that you sweep out in a period is always constant. So when I'm further away, uh, the the semi-major axis is longer. So the amount of forward I travel basically to make that triangle has to be less. But I thought when you circularized, it becomes constant. It has to be at a faster speed than when you were lower down. I'm, I'm just compl I'm tilted like literally off the face of the planet right now. Everything I thought I knew. Maybe Jeb's just playing me. There's a lesson Maybe here, Jeb's. children, and that is that when you study uh, aeronautical engineering at university, pay attention. Don't drop out after like two years like a total failure, because this will happen. But in any case, we're going to end the episode here. We're probably well. How much fuel have we got left? Um, we've got a good amount of fuel, so next episode we'll resume here and we'll try and drop down by um, 600,000 metres. <laughs> we might just revert to save. <laughs> but we'll continue this rescue mission next time. If you like this video, click that like button, leave a comment down below saying what you liked about it. If you didn't like this video, hit that dislike button, leave a comment down below saying what I can improve or offer some sort of explanation for what's going on here better than I have. I make new content every day, so if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. This has been Strawman Gaming. It's been real. I've been Mrs. Strawman. She's been Mrs. Strawman, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>